what we are quite surprised. It has never happened in the history of Manipur, not only in the history of Manipur, the entire country that is India, anywhere in the state. What is happening in India may not be happen, I don't think. As Zairamji already say, this incident, this unfortunate incident has began last 3rd May. How many people has been died? It is most unfortunate. A rare incident. Two communities, that is Maitai communities and so-called Kuki communities. I don't know what is the hidden agenda of both the state government as well as Central Sri Narendra Modi's government. Complete nearly one month, there is no, absolutely no stop at all, still is pairing took place. Today in the early morning, I am told it is reported two people was killed. The dead body, the officially they claim, the state government has claimed without yesterday and today's death, they claim <coughs> 74 without missing person. Only dead body where they found, all those not dead body also, still most of the dead body, they are not trying to identify it and they are not trying to hand over to the next kin of their family member. You people all know it has never happened anywhere in the state of Manipur. What is happening today in Manipur, if it is happened somewhere in other state, the India will be burned. But I don't know what is their intention, whether they thought it is a small state, let them kill each other, kya karega, let them die each other. They maybe thought that this is my consumption is that that people of Manipur, how much they are underestimate, just like any man, killing of any man. Only yesterday, as Ayamji already mentioned, exact incident was took place, began from 3rd May. We thought that they may be busy for campaigning in Karnataka till 10th May. Uh, immediate after 10 May, we thought that they may be rushed to Manipur. They may be immediately, they will be the immediately interfered there. But till yesterday, only yesterday, Honorable Home Minister Amit Sahaji rushed to Delhi. They, that is also in the evening, he, he came to Manipur. I don't know, this is what is their hidden agenda, sacred agenda of this BGP government, both center and state. We don't know. Do whatever they like, but at least we would like to appeal safe people of Manipur. As Zairamji already mentioned, in 2001, there is unfortunate incident was took place in Manipur when Atal Bihari Bajwai ji was Prime Minister, L.K. Advani ji was Deputy Prime Minister who is in charge of home. There is ceasefire, peace talk between Naga Insurgent Group and the Government of India. By that time, if there is any agreement or ceasefire, peace talk, agreement is there, there must be one ground rule. In that ground rule, they specifically mention this ceasefire peace talk should be confined only in Nagaland state only. But immediate after amendment of that ground rule, it should be original 
ground rule, it should be confined only within Nagaland, but why they further amend it without territorial limit? So people of Manipur, what they feel that Manipur integrity was bred. So suddenly people are aroused and people are stood up and they started towards all the assembly building, all ministers, chief ministers building. That is another, but human precious life, 21 people was killed. Then immediately they withdraw that further amendment of that ground rule. So, in 2001, that is June uprising. But now again, this is May, between after 21 years, it is happened again. So see, we thought that you know, if, if they are collected, including those missing person, it may be cross, more than 100 people also. Now what is happening there at present, both the communities who are displaced their family, around more than 2,000 houses, both hill and the valley, both the communities' houses, more than 2,000 houses has already totally gutted down and burned down. Those people who are staying earlier in their respective house, they are taking shelter more than different uh, relief camp, including women, including sires, without giving, without any supplying from the government side, essential communities. Those local area clubs, civil society organization, they are donation, some of them they are donation, and some of them they are collected, so they are arranging those horrible relief camp. They thought that it's just like let them die, whatever, what they can do. This is most unfortunate. Being a citizen of this country, we can't stay there. So if they don't listen, you see India is a democratic country. The India's president is supreme commander of this country. This, we came here along with EICC leader, Honorable uh, EICC President Khargeji, under his leadership, as Jairamji already explained, we have submitted a one memorandum to the, the Her Excellency, the President of India, just simply please help us, save Manipur. All those details will be available in this memorandum. So now, as a citizen of this country, we would like to appeal to the Honorable President and also Honorable Prime Minister and uh, Honorable Home Minister in particular. They should have to be immediately interfered. Those still burning tents everywhere in the periphery of the hill log, still this fi uh, firing is took place. So please stop this pairing and also save from this burning Manipur. So only this much we would like to say, appeal to the Honorable Prime Minister and Home Minister, and also we will rush tomorrow at Imphal, and the Honorable Home Minister is there. We have already sent request letter for meeting uh, Honorable Home Minister and directly apprise all these things. Lastly, from time immemorial, you know, I don't like to take much time, the integrity of Manipur. Whomsoever any organization, whether belly base or whether hill base, any organization, when any government, they, when they are trying to resolve once for all permanently, sorry, we cannot compromise our Manipur state's territorial integrity. With this few words, thank you very much.